Hello, 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 mes amours. Welcome to Haitian Cuisine with me. Today, we are going to make Jiri Jonjon. It's rice with black mushroom, okay? So in here, I have my oil. You can use oil of your choice. Usually, I use vegetable oil, okay? So I'm just adding a little bit more. I'm going to be using magnesium spice that I made. It's almost finished, okay? This is the basic of Haitian cuisine right here. Every Haitian have this homemade spice, okay? So I'm going to use edible. My joy spices, that's complete seasoning that I made. Some sazon. And I think that's about it. With my spice. And some chicken bouillon. Okay. My chicken bouillon may here. And for the beans. I am using lime, lima beans. Baby lima beans. Mixed with some green beans. Okay. Because my lima beans. Was that going to be enough? I'm going to show the show you the Jojo after and it was posing beans okay what I did I washed it I let it defose and I let it Right, you see there's no water dripping or anything. I washed this good. Right now it's all ready. So, and here I already have some onions, my thyme, my Haitian spice. Okay, so I'm adding my beans. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook up. Add all the spice in there so they can be infused very well. For the jonjon, what I did, let me add my spice before I show you what I did with the jonjon that I'm gonna be putting in there with dry mushroom. I add some salsa already, my complete seasoning. And I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon. You don't eat it you don't have to add it to your food okay you add the spice that you like okay now we're gonna let it cook up and here this is the mushroom that i use this is from Haiti, okay guys? You see? This bag, you can see it's from Haiti. So. When you open it, I'll show you. What we call Georgia. So it's gonna be black rice with mushroom, okay? Okay, there's a jojo right here. That's what it looks like. Okay, dry mushroom. So what I did, I boiled it for like five minutes, and then I let it cool up. 
to make sure that I get all the juice out of it, I blend it, okay? And I strain it and get everything out. It was, it was already thin. So when I blend it and strain it, this is what I come with. That's the water that I'm gonna be cooking the rice with. Okay guys. Now I'm gonna add my water. Like I said, I strain it already guys. Okay. always looking if there's any scent but this one was very clean so there was nothing in it okay So what's missing? I'm gonna add some more space because it's like there's no salt in there. When you add in your your space, your dry space, make sure you know what have salt and what don't, so you know exactly how much to put. This one is so many colors, you see, there's purple on it, I don't know. Okay, that's my Jamaican hot pepper right here. Yeah. There was time in there already. I don't poke those gloves in there because my spice already had some. Also have some dry one. Maybe that's some ground one that I have. I can always add. This thing is so flavorful. my time in there already so I'm just adding I'm just adding some parsley
That's how we make ziri jon jon, okay? So now I'm just going to let it boil. Meanwhile, I'm going to be washing my rice, okay? And I'm using jasmine rice. And what I like to add is, a, like, not a pinch, but just to get the kick. And then, that's hot pepper, okay? Just a pinch. Here's my rice, guys. It's jasmine rice. I'm in the third one. I'm gonna wash it three to four times. Make sure get most of the stuff out. Until 
Let the water drip. Usually, it's two to one. The ratio of making your rice to so make sure sometimes it's one and a half to two. It depends on the type of rice that you're using. But my other tip on making rice is to build a mo your mountain. As long as you, you build a mountain, usually your rice will not be saggy. The rice have to be on top of the water. Okay. Make sure you have no lumps. I'm just make sure I break all my lumps in here. And when it's dried off, I'm gonna add some butter and cover it on low heat for a good 20 minutes. Then your rice would be done. Okay. Okay guys, 
as you can see when it's almost dry i'm just gonna cover it up add some water let it completely dry and then put my fire on low heat cover it up for like 20 minutes low heat without uncover it and then after that it's gonna be done so i will be showing you guys the outcome i'm gonna put it up right now let me get my border I'm using this Irish water, okay? So, you use one of your shorties. I'm just gonna let it completely dry to go over it. Once I cut it up, I mean, once I cover it, I'm just gonna because I don't want it to stack in the bottom of the pack. Okay, just like so. Okay, guys. So now I'm gonna cover it up with my fire and low heat for a good 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Tastes so yummy already. And then I will show you the outcome when it's done. So I don't want to hold you until it's finished. Thank you for watching. That was Haitian cuisine with me. And if this is your first time, welcome. If you have been in the family already, thank you for all your support. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to put in your request. Anything you would like me to do, just put it in the comment box and I will get back to you. Okay? And... So the next video, but I will be showing you when it's completely done, okay? I'm going to put my fire and go here. So I let it simmer up like this, okay? One more thing, guys. I know a lot of my Haitian people like to put a plastic cover on top of the device or anything. Please try to avoid it. If your cover is properly fit, you don't have to. Or you can put some aluminum foil on top of it. Papier glacé, how you call it. Okay? And then you cover it with a top. But try not to use the plastic. Alright. I love you all. It's my cone. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see. It's right here. Okay. I'll show you the outcome when it's ready. It's already like 20, almost 25 minutes, so I don't want to keep you holding. By the way, this is my cone right here. Souffle my how they call it. Okay, i to put it on And there's a G John John here. 
ください。